fact that I can translate in space, meaning I do an experiment here, then I do an experiment somewhere else, and the physics laws are exactly the same, that leads to a conservation of momentum. Mm. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. In any situation. Right. If I do an experiment today, and then I do it tomorrow, and the, and, and the week after, and the month after, and all of the laws of physics are the same, that leads to a conservation of energy. Okay? If I do an experiment here and I change the rotation where I rotate my entire experimental apparatus and I do it again, and the laws of physics are the same, that leads to the conservation of angular, angular momentum, momentum, right? It's a deep, deep notion that we have, okay? And turns out it gets even deeper when you go into quantum mechanics. Okay. In quantum mechanics, for example, um, you know, everything is a wave function, right? Yes. Whatever, whatever, whatever that, that means. means. <laughs> but what, what gets even weirder is that wave function is a complex number. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a complex number, which means it has a magnitude and it has a phase. It has a phase with respect to like uh, some kind of zero, some zero that you arbitrarily choose. That complex number has, it's like a clock hand, right? It's got a length and it's got an angle. Well, according to quantum mechanics, what are the observables? The observables are probabilities of outcomes of experiments. And that comes from taking the magnitude of this complex number. The magnitude meaning only the length. So the, the, the phase actually doesn't matter when it comes to things that we can see, right? Which means if I, if I take an electron, for example, and I change the phase everywhere for that electron all over the universe right? Because this wave function is everywhere. That's not going to change the outcome of my experiment. Mm. If I add a phase or I subtract a phase, if everywhere I'm just like making the clock go a little bit, a little bit, that's not going to change phase. whatever thing I observe. Right. Okay. And it turns out that that symmetry has to do with the conservation of charge. The fact that I can't create a positive or a negative charge anywhere. Mm. It's crazy, mm. right? So this that's is getting real so... interesting. Um, Emmy Noter, in Noether's theorem, what she actually showed was if we take if we take the um, assumption that physics is the same after these translations, that then something must be conserved okay. every single time that we have this symmetry. 